Dialo for love everybody, kia ora, my name is Ludwig Chivranis and welcome to my couch. I'm currently based here in Auckland as a pianist and I'm also a piano teacher, teaching at Albany School of Music, Rimwerda Music Academy and the University of Waikato. But today I'd like to talk to you about this very special topic, negotiation, criticism and communication within the group. Alright, buckle in, let's get started. So for me, negotiation is a discussion between two or more people with the intended goal of coming to an agreement. Now let me repeat that. Negotiation is the discussion between two or more people with the intended goal of coming to an agreement. Now as a group, you'll be doing this all the time. You will have opinions, views, ideas coming left, right and center. And as a group, it's your job to sift through all of these finding which ones you feel fit best and also best serve the interpretation of your music. What does the composer want? So this is where the fun begins when it comes to giving criticism and negotiating. And I'd like to give you a couple of points that I feel have worked for me, not only as a soloist, but also as a collaborative artist. All right. Number one, encouraging criticism. Now by criticism, I certainly don't mean, hey, who taught you how to play the violin? Your PE teacher? <laughs> no, no team. We don't want any of that. That's not encouraging criticism. By criticism, I mean these are thoughts that are based on what's on the music. How do your teammates hear the music? And here's the beautiful thing. Each person in your group will have their own way of hearing and interpreting the music and the composer. You want to hear these views because the more you have on the table, the more variety the more color and the more interesting your performance. So it's your job as a group to set an environment and a culture of feeling safe to share. Share your ideas. Don't shoot other people down in your group. Make sure that you listen to them, hear what they have to say, and hear how it's based on what's on the score. So please, number one, encourage criticism in your group. Number two, give constructive criticism. This comes from inquiring why people in your group play the music the way that they do. All right. Let me give you two examples. First example. Um, hey Barry, why do you speed up there? Why do you play so fast? Are you running away from your past? <laughs> no friends. First of all, that's plain mean. Let's not go there. Something better would be, hey Barry, I noticed that from bars 46 to 49, you put in a shallow rondo but Beethoven hasn't written it in there. Why is that? Then go through your interpretation together and hopefully Barry will be able to give you an explanation that is clear and that gives you a reason to excel around her. Once you've gone through his, perhaps you can give yours and it might be along the lines of this. So Barry, you know from bars 56 to 62, Beethoven finally returns to the tonic. The theme comes back, yeah? Wouldn't it be an idea to accelerando there? So when we finally arrive in the tonic key, there's that feeling of, yes, we've come home. Something along those lines. Now, what I appreciate about that criticism is first of all, well, you've tried out Barry's idea, but then secondly, you've based yours on what's on the score. And it's not just something that you feel, all right? So please think about when you're giving a criticism, look at the score and see why you feel the way that you do in the music and then try it out with your team members. And that takes us beautifully to number three. What are you going to negotiate on? What are you negotiating? Now you've probably seen that there's a theme in the way that I speak and what I value, and that's because everything that I like to hear and base my thoughts on is, it's in the score, all right? So it's a good idea to talk about your feelings. I feel this way, I feel that way. But do go over the score, figure out why when Tchaikovsky, whoever, has a theme returned and he's reharmonized it, why would you change that? How are you going to change that? Be very clear with your group. Hey, listen, when the theme returns here in this Bartok piece by Bartok, it's syncopated. Before it wasn't syncopated, now it's syncopated. I think we should play this with a little bit more attitude. Check this out here. All of a sudden, we're not playing in unison anymore. We're playing a minor seventh. Doesn't that sound awkward? Doesn't it sound weird? What can we do to best bring that out? So when you're negotiating, refer back to the score 
and then each person has a turn at sharing their idea and try it out. Now here's the thing, not all your ideas will be given a thumbs up by your group members and that's okay. But you need to keep trying as an individual to share your ideas and eventually these ideas will start to come out and you'll get better and better not only as an individual but as a group in understanding one another and how you work. So to recap, number one, encourage criticism in your group. Create a culture, an atmosphere in which you feel safe to share ideas of one another. Don't shoot each other down. Number two, give constructive criticism. Base your criticism on what's on, on the piece of music. Listen to what others have to say. Don't speak in a way that makes them feel small or belittles them. Don't shoot them down. Listen to what they have to say. Try it out yourself as a group. And you might find actually their idea is more effective than yours. So go with that, right? Keep it moving. And last but not least, your negotiations are based on what's on the score. Keep that in mind. Always refer back to the score and listen to one another's opinions. It might even be that certain ways of playing just feel better physically. Um, you might want to add a particular movement. Don't laugh at it. You could laugh if you want, but try your best to understand where the other person is coming from. And if you don't understand, have them clarify. All right? The beauty of being in a group, your communication skills are going to become a lot more thorough and you're going to understand yourself and yourself as a group much, much better. So that's it from me. I look forward to hearing from you and all the best with your music making. Take care, everybody. Cheers.